You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, General Hospital fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your weekly prediction edition. So these are always based on brand new spoilers or promos or action that has happened recently on the ABC soap opera. So I'm not just pulling these out of thin air, and I will tell you where each of them is drawn through. I have got a prediction for Christina and Molly. I have another for Michael, Drew, and Ned, and one for Spencer and Trina. Hey, if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. Now let's dig into this first prediction. Christina will be a substitute surrogate for Molly Lansing. So last week we saw TJ absolutely devastated when he got the news first. And then Molly was completely crushed when her domestic partner told her that their surrogate miscarried their baby. And the surrogate says she's too upset to put herself through this again. So that kind of shuts down their baby making plans, right? Everybody thought they were jumping into it too fast, but they just kept going. And now this baby is gone. Molly, you know, was completely just hurt, distraught. And she asked Alexis when she stopped by to please tell Sam and Christina what happened. So if you remember back in early July, Christina offered not only to be Molly's surrogate, but also to be her egg donor. And she pointed out that way the baby will have some of Molly's DNA since they have the same mom. And of course, TJ's DNA because it would be his sperm. But remember, Molly just freaked out. She actually rejected the offer and treated Christina pretty badly. Christina didn't even make the offer to her initially. I think Christina was just talking talking to Sam and Alexis about how she thought it would be a good idea. They were at the Savoy and Molly overheard and just went completely postal. Now, though, you know, Molly may change her tune because she and Christina are getting along well. And of course, Christina will be very upset to find out that their baby was miscarried. So I expect Christina will make the same offer she made a few months ago, but maybe it will be better received this time. Because remember, TJ was initially kind of okay with the idea, but then when Molly went on and was like, Christina will make it all by herself, you know. So then he was like, all right, all right. So Alexis and Sam, of course, may worry that if Christina does serve as their surrogate, it might cause some stress between the sisters. But, you know, we'll see. So another spoiler that is is an older spoiler. It was back from when they first put Kate Mancy into the role of Christina. They basically said they created this endometriosis storyline specifically as part of the package to lure her to General Hospital because Kate Mancy has endometriosis in real life. So she deals with this. She's very passionate about raising awareness for it. And so we've known, you know, for a while, really from the jump, that Christina would definitely be an important part Part of this surrogate storyline. And so that means getting the other surrogate out of the way. All right. Our second prediction, Michael and Drew shut down Ned. So Ned has his memories back, including hearing Nina and Martin talking about the SEC call. Michael, of course, knows that Nina did this and that Martin, you know, was the one who took the info to the SEC. But Michael and Ned do not know that the other one knows the truth. So that's kind of interesting. So official spoilers for Monday. Monday, November 20th, say Ned is completely irritated with Drew and Michael. And then GH released an early sneak peek scene for Monday that has Michael and Drew talking again about merging the companies. They want to merge them, but they don't want anybody to know so that there won't be any you know, any indication that there was insider trading. But their plan basically hinged also on Ned still being Eddie Main and not being a problem for them because Eddie had no interest in ELQ or anything. But now he's Ned and he put on a suit and tie and he's headed over to ELQ and he wants to talk to them and they are going to be shocked that his memories are back and they are going to kind of see him, I think, as an obstacle to this plan that they want to enact. And another scene from Monday, and this was just a real quick one from the promo for, you know, next time on General Hospital. If you saw that, Ned tells 
Michael and Drew that he wants to talk to them about the SEC thing. So I do expect that Michael will try and change the subject because he knows it wasn't Ned, but he doesn't want the truth out because he is shielding Sonny and he's shielding Willow and he's blackmailing Nina. So Michael wants to keep that control. And Drew, you know, he's out of prison. He just wants to move on. And he seems hyper focused on this Aurora and ELQ merger than, you know, who it is that sent him to prison. So I think it it could happen on Monday that Ned may be completely shocked to hear that nobody suspects him anymore of the SEC thing. And everybody just wants to move forward. Plus, I think he may be distracted from exposing Nina by, you know, it being very obvious to him that Michael and Drew are hiding something from him. You know, the whole thing with Michael and Drew doing things is part of what set up the whole scenario for this and was the reason they suspected him to start with. So this is about to get even messier with the Q family. Our third and final prediction for the week, Spencer and Trina face more and more obstacles. So there's a Monday spoiler that says Trina comes back to the dorm and she finds Spencer camped out beside her door. And of course, inside of her dorm room is a mountain of flowers. It has to smell like a funeral parlor in there. I like the smell of fresh flowers, but when there's too many, it starts to absolutely smell funereal. And that's just, ugh, that, that's kind of a, a trigger thing, right? Nobody likes to think about funerals. So, but the point is, Spencer says all the right things to Trina. He's going to say that he will make Trina a priority and that he really gets that he is not Ace's dad. You know, he's just his brother. Everything he says sounds really good to Trina. But the question is, can Spencer... Spencer stick to these assurances and promises that he's making to his girlfriend. I mean, to me, it seems very unlikely that Spencer can stick to this because he's been acting like Ace's surrogate dad for months and months since the kid's been born, basically. And I think it's going to be hard for him to stop. Plus, if Esme does move out and Spencer is constantly over at her place to visit with his brother, that will irritate Trina. And Trina being irritated about him spending time with Ace will irritate irritate Spencer. Just like how that fight blew up the other day when he said, oh, Esme's moving out. And (laughs) Trina was all of us when she said, finally, and he just freaked. And I see more confrontations like that in their future just because this is such a hot button issue. Of course, Trina and Spencer love each other. But, you know, those of you who've been around the block a few times, you know, we all know that love isn't always enough to carry you through. So I absolutely hope that Sprina is not headed for a split. I like them together a lot, but General Hospital just keeps putting up roadblocks in their way. And I'm certain that Trina's mom, Portia, is not done meddling either, but I think it's going to get worse when Spencer makes promises to Trina about making her his priority, and then he just doesn't do it because Ace is a little kid, he needs protection, and he just feels that paternal weight on him, and I don't think that's going to change, and I think he's going to get more and more frustrated if Trina tries to set up obstacles between him and his brother. She's not wrong. She's not wrong, but Spencer has deep-rooted daddy issues, and that's what is making him behave so badly. And those are really the underlying reason for this last prediction. Hey, drop your comments below, whether you agree, disagree, or have a different idea of where these storylines are going. Definitely click subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure and check back tomorrow, because as always, I'm here talking soaps with you guys seven days a week. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thanks for listening. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 